Hi, today we're going to show you how to install your Enigma NMS on brand new VM or empty hardware. That will include the installation of uh, CentOS 6.5. First of all, we're going to show you which files you will need uh, to complete the installation. First file is Enigma installation guide. Second is CentOS 6.5 um, ISO image. And third file is Enigma binary archive. The first two files are available through our website, which is uh, netsys.com.au, and on the Downloads tab, you will see the links for uh, Enigma installation guide and for the uh, CentOS 6.5 64-bit ISO. So to you know, download those, just right-click and save as and put them in, into your into location on your local PC. And the same for the CentOS. Regarding the Enigma binary archive. What you have to do is, you have to just fill up that little form, put your name, um, email address and phone number, um, so we're able to assist you uh, during the evaluation. And send 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 requests for downloads. And uh, in, in about five minutes you're going to receive an email with detailed instructions and links uh, for the latest version of Enigma, Enigma NMS binaries. Okay. We have already downloaded all of these files on our local PC and uh, we have created a brand new VM, that's the name of our VM, VM Enigma NMS test and we, uh, we basically we started, we started the VM. Now we need to, as you see there is nothing, uh, it's a virtual machine and now we need to map the VM uh, DVD ROM to the ISO which we have downloaded, ISO image for the CentOS. So we go this through uh, this little icon there, connect ISO image on local disk, and we select, we go into location on our hard drive where we put the CentOS ISO. So we've selected that one, open, and now we have to reboot the, reboot the VM to activate that boot image. So VM uh, you know, boots from it. So we go to inventory, virtual machine, guest, and we send in control delete to the system. So our VM has read the ISO image and this is what we're going to see. So we click inside and we hit enter. Uh, yeah, now we're, we're going through the process of installing CentOS 6.5. Okay, so we're skipping the media check. We're going next here. That's for our language, that's for our keyboard, English, basic storage devices. Uh, yes, discard any data, it's a brand new install. We give our server name, we call it enigma-nms-test, just give it a zero. And also we have to configure the network, so we are actually able to talk to our server through the net via the network. We need to click, tick the connect automatically box, that's very important, and go to enigma, uh, sorry, IPv4 setting. Select manual, we're going to add the address. And we've picked up just a, our library spare address 27. That's our net mask. And we're going to gateway 192.60.1.1. DNS server is going to be exactly the same. That one. Apply. Close. And next. We select our time zone, that is Brisbane, we get the system clock, uses UTC checkbox ticked. Now we're going, we, are going, we need to specify the root password, root, root user password, that's very important, please uh, memorize it or write it down.
and we're creating the custom layout because the default li layout for CentOS 6.5 is not really suitable for uh, for Enigma. As you see, we have no um, no partitions defined. Uh, we have uh, all all space in in the, which is free here. So we're going to create some file system. So standard partition. First of all, we're creating the boot file system. Mounting point is for slash boot. That's a uh, file system type, and we're gonna give it uh, let's say 500 meg. That's more than enough. Okay. Then we're going to create a swap part partition, which is gonna be used if we run out of memory. So swap. Mount, mount point is not applicable when we use swap and we're going to give it 4000 bytes megabytes sorry that's going to be 4 gig <coughs> the same amount as our memory and the last we are creating the root partition which is going to be that one and we're going to give it the maximum allowed space so field to maximum allowable size so you, you need to use this uh, radio button okay so we're done go next Format. Write changes to disk. Yes. So we wait a uh, few minutes or seconds. Uh, we don't worry about using bootloader password, but that checkbox has to be ticked. It's very important. So we're going next. Retrieving installation information for CentOS, and we're going to customize. Uh, the next few screens are very important because this is where we select the packages needed uh, for Enigma. Because Enigma obviously runs on top of CentOS, so it needs certain packages to be installed. So application, we select all these checkboxes, the ones which you see on your screen. For for this, we're going to select uh, backup client, compatibility libraries, console internet, dial-up networking hardware monitoring tools I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit so you can see other options flash system performance we legacy unix we don't care about mainframe networking tools performance tools Perl support we don't need printing so we're going to uncheck that we don't need ruby support scientific support security um, storage availability tools we don't need smart card and also we don't need iSCSI storage client. Databases, we select MySQL database client and the server. We go into desktops, we select them all, even though uh, those are going to be used only during the installation process. We go into development, we select additional library, desktop platform, development tools, and server platform development. We don't care about high availability. Because we have our own high availability mechanism. We go into servers. Over here we select uh, Sif server, server, email, FTP, um, network infrastructure server, network storage server, and uh, server administration tools. System management. We select messaging client support, SNMP support, and uh, system management. And web services, we select everything except for Turbo Gears. That's about it. So CentOS is going to run dependency check and you know go through the process. So we're going to pause the video, so we're not wasting time, <coughs> and we're going to uh, proceed further uh, after the installation process is complete. So please don't go anywhere. We'll be back with you very shortly. Okay, the CentOS uh, installation has been complete and there are a couple of uh, post-installation tasks um, are left to be executed. Uh, so we're rebooting. Okay, this is what it uh, said at the top. There are a few more steps to uh, to take before your system is ready to use. Okay, so we're going to hit next forward. So yes, we agreed to license agreement forward. 
In this screen here, we're going to create a normal user, non, non, not super user, not root user, but normal user. We call it admin and uh, system admin, and we're gonna give it password, password, password. Board. Yes, use it anyway. Okay, one three. Five oh. Which is it's board. We're not gonna use K dump. We we'll just untick that. Finish. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's the last reboot. Okay, this is the screen we're going to see after the reboot. We select admin and password. Okay, we're going to fire up terminal. That's under system tools. Scroll down here. Where's the terminal there? You see, we logged in as admin, so we will become super user. Tap in su and put in a uh, root password. Password. Sorry, root root user password. So we are we are root now. To to make our system ready to you for, for use, we need to execute three more commands. We need to turn off the IP tables, which is the firewall. Stop that. We're gonna turn off the ACID Linux, the security uh, enhanced Linux. Set enforce zero, and also we're gonna fire up the FTP server so we can use it to transfer tra transfer the um, Enigma binaries onto it. Okay, this is our FTP client. So we put in our our server uh, center server IP address, admin account, and password. Click connect, and this is you know we we connected into um, we are in, inside of admin user home directory. So this is our um, uh, admin uh, sorry Enigma binary archive. So we're gonna copy it across, and we're gonna pause the video for a couple of minutes so don't waste time. As you see here, um, we have trans tr transferred the Enigma Enigma binary archive onto our uh, center server, and if we do ll, this is this is the uh, file we're going to see. Okay, that's that's our file. That's our Enigma. Now we need to fire up Putty. That is just a little bit more convenient than to use uh, console here. So that's up. Sorry. So admin password. I may have misstyped it. Okay, password. And again, su. Su. So we were in our web server. Sorry, yeah, when we were in our center server, and this is the Enigma binary archive. So we are unpacking it. So let's create a subdirectory. This is subdirectory. We go in, into that subdirectory and we execute single script. It's called, which is called Enigma. Install Enigma. Install underscore Enigma dot pl. Okay, that script is actually used for both for installation of brand new Enigma uh, instance and also for the upgrade of the existing Enigma instance to the latest version. So as soon as the brand new installation, we're going to uh, take the second option, which is this one, to install new Enigma. And I must type this, so we copied it and pasting it, and yeah, the installation process will take anything from five to maybe ten, fifteen minutes, depending on the hardware. So we can pause. We will pause the video until that process has complete. When installation script has uh, script has finished executing, this is what we're going to see.
new Enigma instance uh, has been installed and uh, now we're going to point our web browser to our uh, server IP address and use this uh, login credentials to log in. Open a new tab and type in 268.1.27. Okay, so, so this is a brand new uh, Enigma, and this is the screen you're going to see. Um, yeah, we're going to quickly show you how to uh, brand it. So we change these default icons and this default icon. That's actually demo client, which is default client. And we're going to change, modify that to our own client, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> so let's call it ABC Company. Uh, let's do the ABC. Then we'll do next. Verified. Now we're going to change the logo image using by this link here. Browse. So that's ABC logo, that's our company logo. See this uh, demo has changed to ABC and now we're going to also change this, uh, our personal um, image profile uh, picture. That's basically it. And uh, please check out the videos how to um, add uh, your own community streams and how to populate, how to add nodes to your brand new Enigma installation, Enigma uh, system, Enigma NMS, so you can get uh, some use out of it. That's about it, and thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye.